What's up? What's up, everybody? All right, welcome to the end of the year video. Okay, how did I title it? How did I title it? Hold up, hold up. Wrap me up. That's how I titled it. Okay, 2017 end of year energy reflection. We have made it, guys. We have made it through 2017. I always make it seem like it's always this tough journey. Like, that's not how I should be proposing it. Okay, that's how I always talk about like. Society makes it seem like it's so hard, but I'm always coming on here. We did it. We pushed through. Like, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, we're here, and I'm excited. I just saw 111 on the, on the video. It's lit, and that's literally what I'm starting the video with. 2018 is in the... <coughs> My body's excited. Hold on. 2018 is an 11 year. Okay. Add it up, it's two. It's a two-year. But it's a master number. It's 11-year, okay? Add 2018 up, you get 11. Okay? And that is major. It's a, That's a super spiritual year. Anything that's master numbers, 11, 22, 33. <coughs> 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 oh, are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Anyways, master numbers have... Even more, if you think you've been seeing synchronicities now and feeling and hearing intuition and things now, a master year, that's the universal year, okay? That's like the on the planet, you know, our, in numerology, our time, we're all going by the same year, okay? And so in numerology, since anything you express has energy and has a signature that's created, we are believing all this, you know, believing it. We all say, okay, tw yes, it's going to be 2018, the entire world. So, that's a major shift in energy because we all are expecting this awareness and now we put this number on it and that number signature is then going to rock with what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's the same with how your name and all these things have, why you sign your name and all that. They have extreme meanings because your energy's on it. Okay? You have an energy signature. Okay? Y'all, mind my hair. Um, yesterday, I bleached it. Um... It's probably for the, for the Virgo. I have Virgo rising, so it bothers me. I bleached it yesterday, but the bleach was really strong for some reason, or my scalp was really sensitive, and so I didn't want to put the toner in yesterday um, because I didn't want to hurt my skin or my scalp or my hair. So I need to tone it. It literally is like all kind of different tones, okay? So if you're looking and like, what is going on, zebra, you know, giraffe, um, that's kind of what I'm giving you right now, okay? And it will be toned the next video. I'm literally doing it today, but... I got inspired to make video before the toning inspiration happened, okay? So, you know, if you're noticing what's going on with the shading, it is what it is, okay? It's in process, okay? Um, <laughs> so, it's a universal year. It's 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 the numerology I was thinking about, about talking about before with your name and that kind of thing, the signature. So, <coughs> we're going into a... Uh, we're going into an 11 year. <laughs> this is getting aggravating, okay? Um, we're going into an 11 year, Okay? which is super, super major. Um, very, a, a new spiritual energy, um, a two-year, and I'm going to talk about what we just left before I go deeper into what all this means, okay? So, 2017, first 2016 was a nine-year, okay? 2016 was nine as hell. Conclusions, endings, wrapping up, okay? Nine. The last before you get to the new beginning, okay? Ow. Um... And, yeah, so much ended in 2016, so much died, so much, you know, shedding, and so much conclusions, and, and, and wrap-ups, and, uh, oh, just arguments, and things, just putting together, and all that. Um, 2017 was a one-year, okay? It was a 10, which is one and zero, and zero represents potential and, and, and new possibilities, okay? Um, and that kind of portal. Anytime you get that zero, it's kind of like that portal, the in-between, Okay. Um, so it could go a lot of different ways. And that definitely is exactly what this year was, 2017, that, that zero kind of portal. But the one is all about confidence, initiation, new beginnings, new starts, um, you know, n creating new things, okay? And that's all this year was, you know, building our confidence, building our self-assurance, setting, starting new things, you know, trying new things out, new beginnings starting, new beliefs, um, you know, new, oh my gosh, so many new things came out of 2017, okay? 
um, whether you took them or not, there was just newness, okay? New energy, um, you know, um, lots of new potential, okay? Lots of new choices coming in, okay? New people you met, you know, new ideas, new beliefs, new, oh, so many new things, okay? Um, and so now we go into an 11-year, this master year, and this is going to be about, it's kind of conflicting. The master years are always tough because and, and, and challenging in the way that they're always facing off with themselves, okay? 1, 11, 1, 1, 22, 2, 2, okay? And so master number 11 is the, the about polarity, okay, and balance, okay? Um, it, it represents two because it's two ones, which are masculine energy, divine masculine energy facing off and making two, okay, which is feminine energy being receptive and that energy, okay? And so not only are we still going to have the amplified, it's double one energy, okay, um, which is even more self-assurance, even more confidence building, even more standing up for yourself, even more, you know, um, assertiveness, even more initiation, even more new starts, okay? But now it has to be in partnership with others because two energy is about love and cooperation, supporting, um, polarity balance. Um, two energy also represents, um, um, you know, just relationships in general, you know, working with others, cooperation, group mentality, um, your beliefs about yourself, um, the second house as well you know, your worth, um, how you share that with others, um, you know, that there's a lot. So now it's not only about us, it's now that we have this new identity, that a new, this new beginning we started in 2017, how are you going to continue with that new beginning and that new, initi new initiative and that new self-focus, but now it's in play with the with others who are doing the exact same thing? And how can you both, in your new focuses, intertwine and interwine together. That's going to be 2018, okay? And then on top of that, it's in a master number, a master 11 number, which is going to be extremely faded in the way things work, okay? And our push, we're going to be, it's a very spiritual number, so we're constantly going to be urged to move and, and grow spiritually and grow in ourselves, okay? Um, which is really great, okay? Um, and that's the energy of 2018, this major new shift, okay? Um, and so I created a spread for the energy. Okay, I'm going to be doing this for every sign. Um, and most importantly, I'm creating this and I'm going to be adding it to my website under the services um, because it's what I'm doing for myself and it's really, really effective. Um, it's called the Wrap Me Up End of the Year Spread. Okay, it's going to be $40. Um, it's going to be three decks. And, you know, if, if, you, if you've gotten a reading with me, you know, I always hook people up with the kind of astrology tea and just any kind of tea that I pick up before we even get into the reading. So it's really kind of an intimate thing, which is what I, really, I, what I love to do, which is why I'm offering it to everybody because I want to connect with more people. Um, and if you need clarity, if you need, you know, to really know what the direction is going to go, kind of see how you're vibing with the sign one. Um, and then... Did a reading, okay? Um, it's, yeah, because the, the horoscopes, you know, per sign, we're going to keep it, I keep it kind of moving um, because some people, a lot of people don't really like to sit for a long time. And in the reading, it's personal, so I can go a lot deeper. But this, you know, it's collective energy, so I like to keep it moving. So, said all of everything I need to say, and now let's get into the individual readings. Excited, here we go. What's up, Capricorns? And happy, happy birthday, guys. Yes. It's like a major birthday because Saturn is now in your sign. Your ruler is home, y'all, okay? So you're really feeling very Capricorn, okay? Um, major, major, major Capricorn stuff going on. So let's see where Capricorn's going, okay? So where did you start in 2017? Where were you in 2017, okay? So you were really trying to get your wishes. You were really trying, I'm very passionate, trying to get your wishes met, okay? Um, trying to get, you know, you had this vision of what you wanted, and you were trying to work towards it, okay, in the beginning of 2017. It was Capricorn season again, okay? And so you were, you know, really resetting yourself and really resetting and seeing what you wanted to achieve, and you had this energy 
to and passion to move for it. But it was not moving like you wanted. Everything was coming in delay. Things were in lack. You were not receiving all of the wishes you wanted. You were not receiving even the passion you wanted. Um, in relationships, things were not in balance. And it's also partnerships were not working. And your inner balance between, you know, your inner masculine and inner feminine balance was thrown off. You know, you were not able to even really feel super grounded like you could even move forward on solid ground because that's, there was imbalance, okay? And the timing was not ready, okay? Um, let's see. Where are you ending 2017, though? Now ending 2017. Cool. So in, in any of the aspects where you felt like you couldn't handle yourself, you couldn't, you know, have this grounding, have this nurturing way of, of really taking care of yourself where you felt, you know, like... I don't know if it's going to work out, you know, doubt in your self-doubt that you were going to be able to be stable. You now have this new inner strength. You were able to see through 2017 how strong you really are. All the things that threw you off that made you feel like you were lost your grounding, you actually now can see were so necessary for this new strength you have. Okay. Any as well, any organizations where things were not really working out, things were, you know, um, not being fairly shared, um, the advice you were getting was not really right from the elders, or if you are the elder giving advice to the apprentice, it was not really working out, the relationship. Um, or this is a co-creation as well, a business, a partnership you had going on, was not really working. And it was because of a need to intuitively feel and follow what you were feeling. And now, from by the end of 2017, now you're listening more to your intuition, which is an amazing thing. You, these are both two feminine traits, and, and even though, Capricorn, you are a feminine sign, being an earth sign, um, you are very, have a very masculine energy in your assertion and, and you, how you want to build in this reality, okay? Um, but this inner strength you have is a more feminine knowing, okay, that things will work out. And this is a now... Um, an intuitive knowing you're following your feelings now, okay? And following what feels right to you, okay? Um, especially in dealing with others and dealing with, okay, you know, if in any situation people are coming at you wrong, you're like, mm, this does not feel right, and you have the strength now to assert yourself, okay? Um, before, you might have stayed around and still dealt with people because you were nervous of your own stability and your own reality, but now you're strong in yourself, and so now you're able to follow this intuition, okay? Um, what new awareness is coming in in 2017 okay what did you figure out in 2017 so there was a major um new awareness that came this is literally about you know awareness that is gained and so you took a lot of time in 2017 to really have be introspective to really think to really put the pieces together on you know okay what's been going on and where do i want to go okay um because there was a blockage and there's just a lot going on in you feeling too like you were working too hard but the energy you don't mind working hard capricorn as long as you're getting back what you're putting in and that was not happening you felt burdened and so you're like mm, let me process that okay also there was a feeling that something in your life was not fully fulfilled in your reality you know you were not you might have had the money but you didn't have the relationships you might have had, you know, a better mental state, but now your reality, you're, you're waiting for things to be put together. You might have this new idea, but you need the person to, you know, match it with. It's all these things where you have, there's just something that feels like you, you need this vacation. There's just something that you just feel like you need um, that needs to shift to have this feeling like everything is complete, okay? But right now, you feel burdened, okay? And so you've been thinking about that. And lastly, you're taking more time as well to just process what's coming in, what you want to receive, what you really want to, 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 um, if any offers are coming in, really processing, not just taking the first one, because that had you overloaded, you know, you were taking too many things, now you're processing, okay, what do I really want to be doing here, um, and this is also taking more time to meditate and, and go inward as well, with this card, makes sense, to receive the guidance you want, to see, okay, you know, I'm looking for a certain, um, Thing, a certain thing that's going to fix, you know, my reality. Now let me really ground myself to see what exactly that's going to be, that last thing I need that to give me that for, okay? Um, now, in 2017, what have been forgiven? What have you let go of, okay? Mm. Lots of fogginess has been let go of. Lots of the temptations and just the different things that threw you off before that were sabotaging you before. Um, lots of things that had you 
you know, not able to really decide what you wanted to, to do, where, where you wanted to go, okay? Um, just, you know, lots of just different options. And this could be fogginess. You were creating mental fog, kind of trying to weigh things in. Oh, which way should I go? How can I figure this out? And then that created a lot more tension and, and you don't really know how things are going to work out. Um, this also could be fog coming in from other people trying to manipulate you or trying to give you different options to do. Okay, maybe you should try that or you should do that or you should do that. And this is just clouding you up. You're like, what? What? What's going on? Okay. And, um, and lastly... You know, there was a place of feeling like you needed others. You needed to help others so much and take care of others or that you were not able, going to be able to be stable without others, okay? So these are three things that were on play for you in 2017 and now you are moving away and forgiving these things, okay? Which is an amazing, amazing thing. You know, you now have so much clarity to know to just not be able to, you know, think about a goat going up a mountain. That's you, Okay. And, but it doesn't know how to which way it wants to go, so it jumps up, and then it's like, ah, oh, actually, I want to go that way, so it jumps back down and goes this way. Mm, no, let me go back this way. That would be so tiring. How would you, you would never get up, okay? So you have to have that decision. You have to have that unified sense to go up. Also, think about a go going, I don't really want to go up. Can somebody, hey, can you push me up? You, you can push you don't want to push me out, oh my god. So that, just on that, that reliance on other people, you know what I'm saying, um, that give and take there, now you're realizing that, that was, these are all about kind of distractions, okay, um, for you and your focus, okay, and for how you want to get to this next step. So you are now letting all these things go, okay. Um, and now that you did that, where is your soul going towards, especially with Saturn and Capricorn for you, where is your soul going towards in... Um, 2018 okay amazing yes okay so the anxieties the worry all these things that we were talking about that kept you spinning created all the fog look what came with it the death card okay so now there's been a death there's been an ending we put in we have now put an end to this okay there's been an ending to this worry you now have cleared away those beliefs that were causing a lot of that stress for you okay and now you're able to really push forward and get to work. This is the Knight of Pentacles. He's all about like, let me get this job done. And that's your energy all day. And now you're feeling like that because, you know, both of these on this are on this horse. You're now able to ride off on this horse. And right here, you're in the bed. You can't go anywhere, okay? But that situation has died now. And you're able to now get on moving. Um, and you have a new complete, there's been a judgment call. There's been a complete, you know, new... Um, shift in your karma okay i think this is definitely saturn and moving into capricorn switching everything for you and now you're ready to work with the world a new cycles are occurring and this is a new karmic shift as well okay um major changing that's occurring and you have a major cycle ending that death card there okay um and lastly what seeds that you planted in 2017 will blossom in 2018 hmm. oh Okay. Yeah, so there, there's definitely been some, you know, any indecision, I think this is, again, you know, the need to take time to find new perspectives as well. Um, anytime, this is kind of from the fogginess. But now what, what this is leading to is the Knight of Swords, okay? I think this is about, you know, you, you, you had this time, okay, let me get this new... And then you got, bing, you got this new light is on, okay, the little halo. He's like, oh my god, I got this new perspective. Because he had to hang upside down, too. When you're upside down, the world, you're going to be like, oh, my God, everything looks upside down from here. You know what I'm saying? New perspective. You get to see things in another way, okay? You get this new insight, and now you're rushing forward, rushing against the wind. So you're, like, really excited about this new thing you're, you are um, going towards, okay? Um, and what it's going to lead to is greater abundance for you, okay? You're going to be really enjoying yourself, um, really, you know... Um, able to see all the hard work you've been putting in, able to see, and, and, and she's looking back on how she just moved away from this new perspective. She needed to take a second to kind of process, and then she was able to move forward into this new abundant life, okay? And then we got the death, the devil card, um, and the devil card is your card. You know, I definitely think that this is not what it is seeming in any other reading, but for this, it's saying that you're going to be back to yourself, back to your energy. This is also saying Saturn and Capricorn is here and putting you to work, and it is now going to help you to move towards this um, goal here, okay? Now, let's get into 
Um, oh, this is this is what the clarity came from. This is where I got that from. Because now you got the loyal hearts card. You 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 are you know in a place of you know looking for other people around you that are loyal to you to work with and you just have a stronger loyalty in yourself mainly okay and now that you're loyal to yourself and you feel like you can't turn yourself down you're never gonna you know um you're never going to um what, what's the word i look for i'm never going to let yourself down okay now that you're loyal to yourself and you can know that you can keep pushing forward, that is all a Capricorn needs, okay? That is the treasure you need, the treasure island, okay? And now that unlocked the key and now you're floating, you're living. You're like, okay, I trust myself. I'm going to make it through or whatever, you know, or wherever we're going to go, let's do it. And now you're ready to work for yourself. And that is an amazing, amazing thing for Capricorn. Now, and you're unstoppable now, okay? The goat literally is like, okay, let's do it. Treasure, that's what the goat needs to have, the mentality, not the... Maybe I want to go this way, that way, or can you help me? It's like, look, let's let's get it done. I trust myself. Boom, let's make it happen. Okay, and that's kind of where you're at now. Lastly, I wanted to end with um, angel oracle guidance, and they're saying shower of abundance. Yeah, you're literally going towards this amazing abundance. Okay, to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So, then you're working towards it, you know, cleanse and detoxify as well, okay? So just let go of all that past baggage and, and get this new sense, this new excitement for yourself, okay? And push forward because you, you got it. You got it going, okay? Happy birthday again, Capricorns. If you want to go deeper into this reading, um, especially since it's your solar return, um, and, and really see, you know, for your life or for your soul, for your career, for relationship, where it's going in 2018, where your soul is leading you. Get in contact with me if you want to learn, look at your astrology, any other transits, honestly. Get in contact with me. I also will do, can do a, um, um, a solar, solar return reading on you, which shows the blueprint of this year where you will be on your birthday and kind of shows you the year for you, okay? Kind of the themes of the year, okay? Um, it's so accurate. I did it for myself and literally I'm like still dealing with the things, okay? Um, so... I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the holidays. Enjoy the new year in Capricorn. And I love you. Deuces.